Hi. Let's continue. Uh, so, next point in our work is uh, signed volume of a parallelepiped. First of all, I have to introduce analog of uh, the uh, right and left pair in three dimensions. So suppose we have three vectors. Vector say A, vector B, and vector C. Let me write them in this form, first of all. Uh, a, uh, it is uh, B, and this is C. For example, this uh, triple of vectors. This vector should not lie in the same uh, plane. So, like this, this, and this. Now, uh, uh, by definition, these vectors form a, a right triple right triple of vectors. If the following is true, if you look uh, at the vectors A and B from the tip of vector C from here, uh, then uh, uh, you uh, see that they form some angle and uh, we have to uh, turn A, uh, if you want to turn A so that it becomes parallel to B, we have the same direction of B. Of B. Uh, if you see that it is done in the counterclockwise direction, if you observe it from the tip of the vector C, then this vector form a right triple. And if uh, we say, have say vector A, this is vector B, and this is vector C, and we look from the tip of C and uh, try to turn vector A so that uh, it uh, becomes uh, uh, parallel to vector B along the shortest way. Uh, then, uh, and you see that it happens in the clockwise direction, then this vector A, B, C form a left triple. Now, for example, consider in uh, uh, three space uh, uh, just Cartesian coordinates, it is x, it is y, it is z axis, and consider uh, the basic vector. So this vector uh, i, uh, this vector is j, and this vector is k. So we have three vectors, uh, basic vectors, uh, in three-dimensional space. Unit vectors in the x, y, and z directions. Then uh, vectors are i, j, k, i, j, k, form which uh, uh, triple? If you look from the tip of k and turn vector i so that it uh, becomes parallel to vector j, we'll see that it happens, if you look from here, in the counterclockwise direction. Yeah, so it is right. Triple. 
and uh, vec uh, uh, the triple say uh, k j i yeah k j i uh, so if you look from the um, uh, uh, point i tip of the point i in the vector k and j and uh, turn vector k so that it becomes parallel to vector j you see that it happens in the clockwise direction yeah so uh, this is uh, left triple yeah and uh, so we have two sorts of uh, triples of vectors uh, and um, let me give a definition suppose we have three vectors so denote them a b c uh, so this is vector say a uh, this is vector b and this is vector c uh, consider uh, the parallelogram which is uh, uh, defined by these vectors uh, one minute this is uh, this uh, parallelogram uh, Yes, uh, this parallelogram, let's denote this parallelogram by the Greek letter uh, pi, uh, capital pi. Yes, so by definition, sine it, uh, sine it means having a sine volume of uh, the Parallelogram, uh, parallelepiped pi uh, defined by the vectors a, b, c. which I denote by V uh, A B C so it is a volume of a uh, parallelepiped pi uh, defined by vectors A B C uh, equals uh, uh, you, uh, equals the uh, um, usual volume of pi if a b c is a right triple and uh, v a, B, C equals minus usual volume of pi if A, B, C is a left triple. No, uh, if ABC is a left triple. <sighs> okay, uh, so uh, uh, it is a definition uh, similar to definition of uh, the right and left pairs uh, of vectors in the plane. Um, and now 
we have this function v of a, b, c. So this is a function of three vectors. It depends on a, b, and c. So uh, which uh, property does it have? So uh, first of all, uh, uh, the main property uh, is uh, the property how it behaves when you change places of two arguments. So the first property, V of A, B, C equals minus V of say B, A, C. Uh, so if you change places A and B equals minus V uh, of A, C, B. So we change these places. Equals minus V of uh, C, B, A. Because if uh, A, B, C is uh, uh, the uh, uh, is uh, um, uh, say right triple, then all these are uh, uh, left triple. But at the same time, uh, v of a b c equals v. Uh, we uh, uh, go uh, move a to this place, b to this place, c to this place. C uh, a b equals v uh, of uh, uh, b c a. So uh, what happens here? If you take the triple, uh, say a b c. And this triple is uh, right, a uh, right triple, yeah? Uh, when you take this triple, it is the same triple, but turned. So instead of A, we have B. Uh, in, uh, instead of, uh, uh, so C moves here. Uh, uh, a moves here, B moves here. Yes, uh, so if you uh, consider uh, the triple um, B, C, A, uh, so we uh, look uh, uh, from A uh, to uh, at the vector B and C, then you have to turn a vector B to uh, have the same direction as vector C, also counterclockwise if you look from A. And the same is uh, that the last, uh, if you look from the tip of A, uh, uh, from the tip of B here, and go uh, uh, from C to A, we also, uh, we if you look from here, uh, it moves clockwise, but if you look from the tip of B, it is counterclockwise, be because we look from that side. Yes? So, this means uh, that um, we uh, somehow listed all uh, possible ways to arrange uh, uh, the vector a, b, c uh, in order. Yes? Uh, so, uh, if you have all uh, transpositions of vector, a uh, permutations of a, b, c, there uh, exist uh, all in all six such permutations, then uh, always uh, three of them are right and three of them are left. Okay, and of course, uh, yes, uh, that uh, the uh, usual volume of uh, the parallelepiped uh, is all the time the same. 
Yes, so we have the same parallelepiped, but depending on uh, its uh, the order of vectors, its sinus volume is either positive or negative. In three cases, it's positive, and three cases, and negative. Uh, next is that V of K A B C equals K times V of A B C. It is the same uh, as it was uh, before, and the same uh, is uh, V of A K B C equals K V of A B C. And V of uh, A P K C equals K times V of A B C. So all uh, three is proved like in the uh, plane. Consider the case K uh, positive and K negative. For K positive, uh, these three uh, vectors uh, are uh, the same parity, so they are either or the same. If ABC was right, then if K positive, then KABC is also right. Uh, if uh, and the same with this. Uh, if uh, ABC was right and K is negative, then KABC on uh, all these three um, triples will be uh, left, and uh, so the uh, uh, volume uh, changes sign, and its absolute value is multiplied by absolute value of K. Uh, third. V of A plus D B C equals V of A B C plus V of D B C. So it is distributivity of uh, the volume. And it's proved uh, the same way. We uh, consider the uh, figure, uh, it is parallelepiped. Uh, this is union of two parallelepipeds. And uh, it, uh, the difference between uh, this sum and this sum is uh, that we um, uh, add uh, some prism on one hand and subtract some prism on the other end and get uh, this. So better if you try to draw it or look, uh, b you can look in the lecture notes, uh, there is a, a picture, uh, I fear uh, that uh, uh, here in place I will not uh, draw such a uh, fine picture as it is in the notes, you will see there, even in colors. So we have, uh, and uh, the similar for uh, B and for C, if say uh, uh, B is a sum of two vectors, then volume, the sinus volume uh, uh, of uh, the, uh, this, uh, if B is sum, say instead of B, B will B plus D, uh, it, uh, okay, uh, V of, uh, of A, B plus D. C equals V of A B C plus V of A D C. And uh, with, uh, uh, the same for the first, uh, third argument V A B uh, C plus D equals V of A B C plus V of A B D. 
I would say that uh, volume uh, behaves uh, like sort of product of vectors a, b, c. Uh, it, uh, uh, if a, b, c were numbers, then uh, both these, uh, these and these uh, would be uh, the properties of numbers. Uh, but uh, this first property brings something new. Uh, okay, and now we can uh, uh, compute uh, the uh, volume, the sinet volume, this function v of a, b, c, uh, but we need uh, one more property. Let me erase here. So we uh, work in uh, Cartesian coordinates and so uh, uh, we have to uh, define a volume of at least one uh, triple. Uh, so V of I J K equals one. Uh, because uh, it is a uh, unit cube, uh, this parallelepiped is unit cube, ijk form a uh, um, right triple, uh, so uh, this volume is 1. And correspondingly, uh, v of uh, k uh, i j equal 1, V of um, J, K, I equals 1. So this is right triple and this is a uh, right triple. And V, uh, J, I, K equals minus 1. V of uh, K, j i equals minus 1, v of i k j equals minus 1, because these three are left triples. <sighs> okay, and now uh, uh, we approach uh, the uh, uh, interesting part. Namely, uh, how to compute uh, the uh, sinet volume in uh, Cartesian product, uh, in uh, vectors uh, in coordinate. So suppose A equals a1, a2, a3 equals a1i plus a2j plus a3k. b equals b1i plus b2j. Uh, no, let me uh, repeat it. Uh, b1 b2, b3 equals b1i plus b2j plus b3k. c equals c1, c2, c3 equal c1i plus c2j Oi, plus C3K. So we have three vectors. Uh, now uh, V of A, B, C equals V of all this A1I plus A2J plus A3K. 
uh, B1I plus B2J plus B3K. C1I plus C2J plus C3K. Now we have to open the brackets. Uh, using uh, these uh, uh, the previous properties, we can uh, 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 take uh, all these equals V. So we take one term from here, one term from here, and one term from here of A1I, one term from here, uh, B. 1i c1i plus no uh, now we take one, uh, the same term from here this first term, term from here and second term from here uh, so all in all we have 27 terms here because we have three groups and uh, uh, we take one term from each of this group independently. So the last is V of uh, A3K, B3K, uh, C3K. Uh, now, using the linearity, so if you multiply uh, the first vector by a1, a1 could be put here, uh, uh, and same with the second, and same with the third. It is uh, a1, b1, c1, v of i, i, i. Plus, no, the second uh, is uh, uh, A1, B1, C2, V of I, I, J, plus and so on, uh, all other terms. The last will be uh, A3, B3, C3 times V of K, K, K. So we have this. Now, what is uh, V of I, I, I? Uh, it is uh, the uh, volume, silent volume of parallelepiped such uh, that all three vectors which define it uh, are uh, equal, the same vector I. But this parallelepiped is just a segment. Yes, so its uh, volume is zero. Uh, the second, the A1, B, uh, B1, C2, uh, V of I, I, J. So two uh, vectors are equal, the third vector is different. So it is a parallelepiped which is flat. It is just a square. Yeah, its thickness is zero. Uh, so it is also zero. And uh, uh, the, uh, all the terms uh, where you have uh, two uh, equal vectors uh, here, or equal bas basic vectors, will be uh, zero. So we cannot write them. And what remains? Equal. Uh, so remains only the terms where uh, these indices are all uh, different. So A1, B2, C3, V of I, J, K, yes, plus uh, A, uh, 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 one. B3, uh, C2, V of I, K, J, 
plus, uh, so we uh, change it this, A2, B3, uh, C1, V of uh, J, uh, K, I, plus uh, A2, B1, C3, V of J, I, K, plus um, A3, B1, C2, V of um, uh, K, I, J, plus A3, B2, C1, V of K, J, I. All other terms, uh, so we exhausted all uh, the terms where uh, these three uh, basic vectors are different. In all other terms, we have either uh, two equal uh, or all three equal terms. So then uh, the corresponding volumes are zero. Yes, uh, and uh, these are, uh, we uh, uh, know what they are, uh, so equals. So A1, B2, C3, this is one. A1, B2, C3. Uh, here, uh, uh, if I moves here, uh, JK uh, plus A3, B1, C2, it is this term, we know that this is positive, and uh, move uh, uh, again, so here J, K, I, J, K, I, uh, plus uh, uh, A2, B3, C1. All other terms are negative. Uh, I mean, these volumes are negative. So this term minus A1, B3, C2, uh, minus uh, A2, B1, C3, minus uh, 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 A1, A2, A3, uh, uh, B2, C1. Okay, so if uh, you look closely at this result, it is something familiar. It turns out that it is simply a uh, determinant. Let us see if I did not make a mistake. Uh, v of A, B, C equals determinant A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So it is A1, B2, C3. Now, uh, uh, a plus A2, B3, C1, uh, uh, plus uh, A3, B1, C2, so this, uh, minus all other terms. So it is determinant. Yeah? So uh, we had a similar result in case of uh, 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 in case, uh, in two-dimensional case, there also the assigned area uh, was given by a two by two determinant. Here, determinant three by three. 
very good. So uh, at last we uh, come here and now uh, I wanted to uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, let us uh, write this determinant in the following form. Uh, let us write uh, equals a1 times this determinant b2 c3 minus b3 c2 plus a2 uh, a2 uh, it's this we have to take uh, this and this columns uh, and uh, uh, but determinant should be the sign uh, minus minus b1 c3 uh, uh, b1 c3 plus b3 c1 uh, plus a3 times uh, b1 b1 c2 uh, minus b2 c1 so this way uh, we uh, uh, so, uh, say um, expanded determinant uh, relative to uh, the first row you know it is uh, not uh, the best uh, let me do the following uh, let us uh, expand it relative to the last row it is um, uh, a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 minus a1 b1 a3 b3 c2 plus a1 a2 uh, uh, just a minute uh, c1 uh, c1 here a2 a3 b2 b3 a1 a2 b1 b2 c3 yes uh, But this, uh, let us me uh, define a vector. F is the vector with these components. A1, uh, A2, A3, B2, B3. Um, this determinant minus uh, a1 a3 b1 b3 and uh, the last component a1 a2 b1 b2 so this is vector f and then uh, f uh, is a function of a and b yes so we uh, uh, then uh, from this we can see that volume 
of A, B, C equals uh, this F of A, B dot C. Yeah? Now, what is this uh, uh, on one hand? On the other hand, what is uh, the volume uh, defined by A, B, and C geometrically? Geometrically, if you consider, say, this is vector A, this is vector B, and this is vector C, Yes, uh, we uh, uh, find uh, the area of this uh, uh, parallelogram spanned by A and B. No, B is, let's write it here. Let us find the area spanned by this parallelogram and consider the unit vec uh, the vector which is perpendicular to the plane of this parallelogram, uh, which uh, we denote by E. Yes? And then you see uh, how to... Uh, and the length of E equals uh, uh, modul... Uh, 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 the model of area of this parallelogram, uh, let me denote by, um, let me write here, uh, uh, length of E equals uh, modul area of uh, pi. Pi is this parallelogram. And direction of E is such that a, B, and E form a right triple. A, B, E is a right triple. And then uh, it is easy to observe that volume of the parallelepiped uh, volume of this parallelepiped capital Pi uh, is uh, exactly uh, uh, volume of Pi is exactly E times C, E dot C, yes? Volume of this parallelepiped is C. It is volume uh, uh, I mean uh, volume of uh, ABC equals exactly uh, E times uh, C. On the other hand, it is F times C. It is true for any C. This means that E равно F. So what is uh, E? Is, uh, e is a vector such that it is orthogonal to the plane spanned by A and B. It is uh, uh, its length is equal to the area of this parallelepiped in the AB plane, yes, and it deserves its own name. 
uh, it deserves its own name and its name is uh, uh, the following uh, let me write it here so uh, f uh, uh, depends on a b is uh, called a cross b it is cr uh, the uh, uh, cross product So it is a new operation. Uh, we have defined what is a, a vector f of a, b. It is vector with these uh, components. Uh, components with this. Uh, in the book, uh, uh, this cross product is from the beginning defined by these formulas. But uh, in uh, in your place, I would say that uh, it is uh, very far from understandable why this formula and what does it mean. So I started from other end uh, to uh, uh, approach it uh, in a natural way. So this uh, uh, we defined cross product. So cross product is uh, uh, we can write the following a cross b like this formula equals a2 a3 b2 b3 i uh, minus a1 a3 b1 b3 j plus a1, A2, B1, B2, K. Yes? And uh, it can be written no, a little bit symbolically uh, in the following form. So the formula which is uh, uh, easy to memorize a cross b is the following determinant in the first row I write i j k in the second row I write a1 a2 a3 and in the third b1 B2, B3. No, uh, how to understand it? It understand that it is equal I times this uh, determinant minus J times this determinant plus K times this determinant. Yes, uh, uh, so it is a symbolic formula uh, it has an advantage that it is easy to memorize it that's it uh, in uh, what follows we'll have numerous applications of uh, uh, the dot uh, the cross product uh, we have the first application uh, the first application uh, to uh, if you go back to find the volume of parallelepipeds spanned by three vectors. So now the uh, volume uh, of parallelepiped equals a cross b dot c. So we know a cross b we find by this formula and then after we find this vector we uh, multiply uh, uh, find the dot product with c. 
No, uh, consider an uh, example. Let's consider example. A equals 1 to 3, B equals 3 to minus 1, C equals 0 to minus 3. No, why not? I took uh, them uh, from my imagination. Uh, let us find A cross B. Uh, it is I, J, K, uh, A, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, minus 1, equals, so we have to find the first, uh, 2, 3, uh, 2, minus 1, times I, minus, 1, 3, uh, 3, minus 1, j, plus uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, k, equals um, uh, minus 2, minus uh, 6 minus 8i, here uh, minus 1 minus 9 minus 10 and one more minus plus 10j, and here plus uh, 2 minus 6 minus 4, 4k equals, no, let us write it, Min, uh, minus 8, uh, 10, minus 4. So we found the cross product of vectors A and B. Now let us find the volume. A, B, C equals A cross B dot C equals A cross B minus 8, 10, minus 4 uh, dot uh, C, 0, 2, minus 3 equals uh, 0 times minus 8, it is 0, uh, 10 times 2, uh, plus minus 4 times minus 3, equals uh, 20 plus uh, 12, uh, 32. Uh, so, uh, from this we uh, not only found uh, the volume of the parallelepiped, but also uh, found that uh, the vectors A, B, C form a right uh, triple. Uh, uh, no, uh, I think it is the best way to see if the triple is right or left, uh, just to find the volume of uh, the sinus volume of parallelepiped. Okay, so uh, let me finish uh, today. So have a good time. Bye.